technology. Okay. The second place that we need to talk about here that is going to need some of our attention is going to be our downloads folder. And same as we talked about with the desktop, doesn't matter if it's a Mac, it doesn't matter if it's a PC. When you are downloading files, odds are they're going to your downloads folder. And if not, they're going to your desktop. And either way, we just saw looking at cleaning up the desktop. But now let's take a look at some of those files that you probably don't even remember you downloaded. Um, but they're still there. So I'm going to open up my downloads folder here. And again, I'm on a Mac, but uh, if you're a PC user, I know you know how to find your downloads folder. And you can see here all of these things that I have just sitting in my downloads folder. And you see those file sizes right there? I know there's a lot that say, you know, kilobyte instead of megabyte or let alone gigabyte. But all of those things are using up that storage capacity of your computer. And the more storage that you're using, the more it's going to bog down your computer and make it operate slow, slower and slower until finally you have no room left. So one of the things that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a sort here by the date that I added. So if I click it one time, you'll see that things that I did today and recently are very near the top. But if I click it again, it puts the oldest on the top. And I'm looking at this and saying that, hey, the oldest files that I have on this computer are 2021. And the reason because of that, honestly, is because that's when I got my job um, and this particular computer that I started downloading things on, right? Um, but I bet some of you probably have files in that downloads folder that probably predate the 2020s. And honestly, if you do, I won't, uh, I won't criticize you, but I'm just going to strongly suggest that you maybe try to find a way to part with some of those. Um, you know, just a good suggestion. So I'm looking at these and I see all of these different things in here. And some of them are so similar. And you know what? If I have these files in here that date back three years, and I haven't saved them somewhere else if I know it's something that I'm going to need. I'm just going to go and pick everything that is in 2021. And I am going to move all of these at once to the trash. So on my Mac, I just control clicked on them. Um, if you are on a PC, you can right click on it and you can click move to trash. If you're one of those that like to actually see them move, you can actually drag it to the trash can or recycling bin. So I'm going to click that and those files, all over 200 of them have just been moved into the trash. Now that doesn't mean they're gone from my computer yet, but I can do that now too. I can go up on my Mac and I can go and choose to under the finder here, empty trash. And again, if you're on a PC, it's not the exact same steps, but they're similar enough and you know how to do that. It's now time to clean that space out. And all of that stuff that you're cleaning out there is just going to open up more space on your computer and allow it to run better, especially when you come back to school again in the fall. All right. The final thing here that I'm going to show you here is 